Portland Rose Festival's Fleet Week is underway. Four ships with the U.S. Navy and the Coast Guard are expected to set sail in uh, Astoria this afternoon. Now, the first two ships arrived yesterday. Cor Harlan is live somewhere along the Columbia with uh, he's near Longview, actually, where he's aboard the USS Michael Monsoor. Well, uh, yeah. And you're along the Willamette, I should say, not the Columbia. No, no. No, we're on the Columbia. Well, yeah, we're on, on the Columbia. Columbia and that okay. uh, bridge right there, that's the telltale. That's the telltale sign oh, of where yes. we are, right? Right, right. Because Rainier is over there. Longview is over there. Portland is that way. Another couple of hours or so. We set sail from Astoria this morning at about uh, about 8 o'clock. Been cruising down the river here at about uh, 20 knots with some really cool navigational things. The USS Michael Monsoor is a guided missile destroyer. Uh, and it is just some kind of cool. We've had a couple of tours in here now. I want to introduce you to, and I for, you know what, I've forgotten your letters. Give me your letters again. HM2 Diaz. HM2 Diaz, that's what she calls herself. I call her HM2 Marlena Diaz from uh, Modesto, California. Yes, sir. All right, thanks for bringing all the good weather up here. Well, I'm no, okay. that's, I'm joking. I'm joking around <laughs> a little bit. Hey, are you, are you uh, now just tell me a little bit about, first of all, uh, about these events when you, when you go to the, the Fleet Weeks and, and all the rest of that. It's a chance for people to actually see what the military does and regular military people and, and all the rest of that, right? Yes, sir. We uh, we like to visit uh, different uh, cities and communities to kind of show our community where their their money's going um, and, and what the Navy's truly about. And I also think it's a really great experience for uh, families yeah, uh, yeah. Or, or veterans to be able to come see a, a real life warship. We've had some cadets on here, teenage cadets that are enrolled in the program uh, and, and just all sorts of dignitaries and people here from school districts and regular civilians. This is a look, this is from the flight deck. We're actually on the back of the uh, ship here moving as, as we move upstream a little bit. This is really a cool ship because uh, of a lot of different reasons. One of them is as you, uh, as you get ready to kind of if, if you're planning on watching these come in, this is a ship that has an inverted an inverted nose in it, meaning that the, the tip of the, the front of the boat is in the water, so it doesn't sway up and down. It cuts kind of through the water like that. Produces enough electricity aboard this ship to power about 13,000 houses. So it's a pretty impressive, uh, it's a pretty impressive craft, and it's designed, I understand, I don't know if you know this, <laughs> a lot of uh, composites on the outside, look, the shape, of it is designed to go undetected by radar, which is kind of cool. Absolutely. 30 seconds about, you're, you're in medical, right? I am. Yeah. Uh, so the HM stands for hospital corpsman, sir. Mm -hmm. Hospital corpsman. So yes. You, and uh, what kind of, uh, doing doing normal stuff in, in, in dangerous places, I gather, correct? Okay? Yes, define yeah. normal stuff, yeah. I guess. <laughs> So, no. yes, uh, um, I'm here on the ship with my uh, doc, which is my HMC over there, and uh, I'm the baby doc here on board. Um, so our scope of practice here can uh, be something as small as sick call um, all the way up to responding to emergency medical casualties. So that's kind of uh, what's unique with us on board. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Good yeah, meeting thank you. you. Good again, luck. Sir. All right. Here we are, Jenny. We're still here in Longview. Uh, the ship should be arriving here, my guess, two or three more hours. They'll begin to arrive in downtown. It's going to be some bridge lifts, lots of delays, and some pretty spectacular uh, 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 efforts to turn this craft, I, if my memory serves me, 680 feet long. They're going to come down the Willamette and then swing the rear end of that out there and then pull it back up to the west side seawall. they got a river captain up there helping with the uh, navigation of all this. It's a pretty spectacular operation from head to toe, arriving in downtown Portland here within the next couple of hours. Yeah, very cool that you get to be there as they do that. Cord, thank you for that insider's look.